Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. Today, we're going to be talking about Copilot. Specifically, we'll be talking about all of the incredible resources available to help you understand and use this technology to its fullest potential. Hi, I'm Aaron, and today we'll be talking about Copilot skilling so you can be more confident in your technical understanding, whether you're an IT pro or an AI engineer. If you have questions or comments about this episode, be sure to leave them in the comment section below so we can get back to you. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss any future episodes. Today, I'm here with Natalie, our AI skilling lead from Azure Marketing, so she can help guide us through all of the incredible skilling resources that Microsoft has to offer for Copilot. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate you having me on again. I'm excited for our chat. I uh, really just want to help our audiences understand how to speed up on Copilot so they can take full advantage of this power. You and me both. And it sounds like there will be a lot to cover on this topic today. But before we jump into everything, can you give us a brief high level breakdown of what Copilot actually is? Yes, absolutely. Microsoft Copilot is you know, here all over the place, but it's this AI assistant that lives inside of Microsoft products. So Copilot incorporates the context, the intelligence of the web, even our own work, what you and I do, or what anyone else does on a daily basis, and what they're doing currently on their computer to help them out with their work. We can think about it as a very powerful AI tool to make life a little bit easier. And you can check out the review link in the description for a little bit more in-depth look at Copilot if you're interested. Incredible. Thank you so much, Natalie. And it's just always so fascinating uh, to understand how much technology is advanced, especially given now that it sounds like we can have an AI assistant with us at all times these days. But super excited to dive into these wonderful resources that will help people better understand how to take advantage of Copilot. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Uh, what's really great about these resources that I brought with me today is that what we have is a really diverse mix of articles, videos, websites, and free training courses. So no matter how you learn, we've got something for you. You'll be able to choose what fits your interest. And before we jump in, I do want to say that these resources that I'm showing you here are being added to and updated on a regular basis. There's technology is moving so fast and we've got to keep up with that with our, our learning stuff too. No, that's a great call out. Microsoft always making sure that we have the latest and greatest technologies as well as resources. Um, so now for our first resource, what will we be checking out? So Aaron, the first resource that we're going to be checking out today is a nice collection on Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. And just to remind our viewers, collections are a curated list of content from our training on Microsoft Learn, might also include some documentation, videos. And this collection is going to review the basics of Copilot in Microsoft 365. I recommend it for all of our admins and end users out there. We're covering how it works, preparing information for search best practices for its use, details on admin control, change management, security, compliance, and much more. Now, this is incredible. Um, something that piqued my interest while you're going through that was implementation. What kind of learning opportunities or resources exist uh, to help our viewers leverage Copilot for their organization? Aaron, that's a great question. This next collection that I'm going to pull up here is for all those implementers out there about building skills to implement Microsoft mm -hmm. Copilot for Microsoft 365. So let's dive in. This starts to get into what our viewers will need to unlock the power of Copilot for their organization. It's going to go a little bit of a deeper dive into key elements. They're going to find information on compliance features within these learn modules and learn paths about extending Copilot with Microsoft Graph Connectors. If you know what that is and you know this collection is for you. And this is getting into the more technical side of things. So I definitely recommend it for those more technical leaders and those admins. No, this is perfect. Exactly what I was thinking of, actually. And now that you know we've discussed all of this so far, I'd love to take a closer look at the AI components of Copilot, like generative AI. Um, so where should we start on this? That's a great question. I, first of all, one of my favorite subjects. I love generative <laughs> AI. I am trying to incorporate all the new aspects of it into my work. Mm -hmm. This one's fun. I think I would recommend it for anyone planning to use Copilot. Let me pull it up real quick. So I pulled out my collection here, and this collection is really going to be focused on constructing prompts. Let me take a step back real quick. I know a lot of folks might, might be their first time hearing what is a prompt. So prompt generation, we're talking about prompt generation with generative AI, is this process in which artificial intelligence it involves like creating prompts and questions 
essentially we're creating these prompts and questions to guide AI language models to produce relevant and coherent responses. It's almost like learning a new language and learning a new style of conversation with these models. So let's look at the collection that we've got here. Mm -hmm. So this collection that we've got here, we've got modules. We're talking about the art of prompting, how to get the best out of generative AI. Like I said, this is like learning a new language. It almost feels like you have to learn how to communicate on a totally different level and use different words to really guide in order to get that response that you want. Got it. So accuracy, understanding how to engineer the prompt itself. Um, this is all super exciting. And these resources sound like they're great for people who want to better understand generative AI and prompt engineering specifically for Copilot. Um, shifting gears a little bit, for our more business oriented viewers, are there any skilling resources available that you think might be a better fit for them outside of our technical audience? Yes, Aaron, I've got plenty of skilling content for those business leaders and decision makers out there. This collection that I've got pulled up right now is our Microsoft Copilot for Dynamics 365. I also have another one on Security Copilot. Mm -hmm. And these are essential for leaders who want to understand how they can bring AI into every line of their business and how to do so securely. That security is a really important element because these are new these are new things that we're working with, new technologies, and we need to keep our customers' data safe. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I've got the resources here. So this uh, collection that we've got here, like I said, recommended for our business users and our technical leaders, and it's right. gonna go into those uh, first introductory modules. And then we also have some more deep dives as well with. Uh, if we're looking at reviewing and accepting changes, et cetera. Folks can get into the details here, and I'm really excited for them to be able to do that. Okay, no, perfect. I think this is a great resource for that audience. Um, and kind of on that same vein, towing the line in between the business and technical, what about our low-code developers out there? What do we have in the market for them? Yes, absolutely. We've got just the thing for our low-code developers. I'm really glad you asked this question. I'm really enthusiastic about this because Copilot and Power Platform, it's helping transform how app makers build and use software applications. This collection is a perfect resource for app makers and those load code developers. I'll just give you a quick look. We're talking about you know the next generation AI. We're talking about a really great introduction and we're getting a little bit more into the details with this really in-depth learning path, which will give folks a little bit of hands-on experience as well. No, this is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Natalie. Um, and I know that AI is the main moment, but security is still a very hot topic. And it's nice to see that Microsoft um, has that top of mind. And speaking of top of mind, I know that Copilot originates from the Microsoft side of the business, but GitHub also has its own version of Copilot. Are you able to share any more info and or resources for us on GitHub Copilot? Yes, I am. This is the last resource we're going to cover today. It's all about GitHub Copilot, mm -hmm. which we know is all about streamlining developer work. We call it the AI pair programmer. In this collection, folks are going to be introduced to the fundamentals of GitHub Copilot. They're going to be introduced to GitHub Copilot for Visual Studio. All in all, this is a great collection for our developers. No, this is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Natalie, for sharing all these amazing resources with us today. Um, I'm looking forward to having you back for our next episode in the series, especially yeah. because we're taking a deeper look into some of my favorite products. Uh, speaking of, can you give us a little preview into what we can look forward to for the rest of the series? Yes, I can, Erin. In the next two episodes, we're going to dive a little deeper into the resources being offered by GitHub Copilot and demo some of those learning paths, some of that hands-on experience that is available to all of our users out there. And it's just great to be here every time to be able to talk with you about these learning opportunities that we have at Microsoft. So, yes. uh, absolutely. And it's always great to have you. Uh, for our viewers, make sure that you check out the description below to find links to all of the resources that Natalie chatted through today. And while you're there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss any of our future episodes. If there are any questions about our topic in today's episode, make sure you leave a comment below so we can get back to you. And lastly, check out this link so you can find more information on Skilling for Copilot. Thanks for watching.